welcome back to Exfoli, excited for learning. So today, we're going to do the project, Mutant's Cradle. So let's get started. First, I'll show you the project. So this is the project, and once you press the up arrow, the bob one, which is the one right here, this will go up. I'm pressing the up arrow. And then, you know, it works like a pendulum. So this is a representation of a pendulum. Now, let's go into the coding of this project. Constant engine equals to matter dot engine. Constant world equals to matter dot world. Constant body equals to matter dot body. So these all are um, given once you unzip the folder and open it in Visual Studio Code. Okay. So um, these all are usually there, but um, this very line please check um two times you like both the times whether it's given or not because this is really important for this project it's usually not added but in this project it is very necessary con con uh, so cons constraint equals to matter dot constraint where so let's look at the variables that we have used for this project where bob one bob two bob three bob four bob five Okay, so these are the bobs so this round color things like the greenish blue ones those are the bobs and chain 1 chain 2 chain 3 chain 4 chain 5 so these are the chains that are connecting each and every bob with the roof so this gold color one is the roof now let's go into the function setup of the project So in the function setup, create canvas this is the first thing we should do. So we are creating the canvas, then engine equals to engine dot create. So we are creating the engine world equals to engine dot world. So we are making the world. So we are adding this engine into the world. Okay. So then uh, bob one equals to new bob. Bob two equals to new bob. So this bob is a class so let us look at the class bob class class bob constructor x y r so these are this are so x is x position y is y position r is the radius so since this is a circle there's no a height and width but instead we have radius where options restitution colon 1.4 friction colon 1 so the restitution is 1.4 that I have chosen you could increase or decrease according to your choice friction is 1 and density 1 this dot x equals to x so this x position this dot x equals to x position this dot y equal to y position r equals to radius then this dot body equals to bodies dot circle so this dot body equals to circle not a rectangle but a circle this dot x comma this dot y comma this dot r minus 20 by 2 then comma options so this is the x position y position radius and the options options this is a very important thing you have to add in the end because once you add this then only the computer will actually read all these options as you can see restitution friction and density so at the end you should write this option so it's up to you if you write option and then option so it's up to you which variable you use okay so if you want it to be options or option or whatever you wish for so it's up to you completely up to you i chose option next okay so let us just discuss what is the need of this dot r minus 20 by 2 okay so the necessity of this is that actually i'll just remove all of this minus 20 then we'll just see what changes are occurred. okay you can see that they are not totally colliding right you can see that they're not colliding but the effect is happening so i think they are creating a invisible box or a, a, a 
boundary around them, an invisible one, which is making them collide into each other. So the circle is bigger than we can actually see, maybe. So that's the reason minus 20 by 2 decreases the radius, so which makes it look like they are actually colliding for our eyes. Okay. Next, we'll go into the display function. Display where bob pause equals to this dot body dot position. So the bob pause equals to bob's position. Push. So we are pushing all of these into the bob. Translate bob pause dot x and bob pause dot y. So this is the syntax that we have to use. Translate bob pause dot x and bob pause dot y. Rec mode is center. The rec mode is center. Then fill RGB 6, 253, 199. So the RGB for is you could see that this is a teal color, kind of color, right? So for that color to be seen or occurred, then this is the RGB code for that color. Now, if you want a different color, you could go to just simply search RGB color picker then choose whichever color you want and you'll see small box appearing so I'll just show you so I'll, I've opened it now whatever color you choose then just move it accordingly suppose this color you want then and then you'll see RGB over here just copy that and then paste it that's it. very simple so this uh, control C copying it and I paste it okay this looks different for over here but the color that like I've chosen is a little more different so it's almost like here so this is RGB code now let's um, see the rest of them ellipse 0 comma 0 this dot r is this comma this dot r so this ellipse then we are x position y position is 0 as of now since we haven't declared it in sketch.js yet so it's 0 comma 0 this dot r and this dot r now pop so we are applying all of these to the bob so this is the bob class and just i just made one class you only need to make one class you can use that class for every bob so I made five bobs you can use that same class for all the five bobs but just a small change is that you just have to change the exposition of the bobs because if you don't change it then they'll get overlapped and then uh, it won't really look like a pendulum and you should move accordingly so 400 why have I chosen 400 is because exposition should be 400 so this is the y position right so this should be 400 as this is. even if you keep this 500 then it won't change anything why because the only thing that matters is this thing I'll explain it to you later in this video after explaining the chain class okay so next um so there's a gap of 50 between all the x positions why because the radius of the circle is 50 so i want like a gap of 50 otherwise if there's no gap between 50 or 50 then they will be overlap which we don't want right so that's the reason there's a gap of 50 between each bob now let us go into the chain class so chain equals to new chain i made five chains so that because we have to connect all the chains so we have to connect the bob with the chain right so for each bob there should be one string connecting it to the roof so that's the reason there are five chains let's go into the chain class class chain constructor body a and point b so in this we are connecting a body a which is the bob in our case and point b which is point b which is the point b which we are selecting it's up to us so where options equals to and then body a equals to uh, colon body a point b colon point b so body a is body a 
point B is point B, stiffness is 0 0.04 and length is 200. Now let us see what are the stiffness and length. So I'll just decrease the stiffness. Now let's see what will actually happen. You can see that they are actually moving right like this. They are like bouncing. Why? So I'll just change the adaptive moment. See, they are like jumping. Why is this? Because the stiffness of the string is not. It's very less. It's very, very less. Which means the elasticness, like you could say the elastic effect of the string is too much. Which is making it bounce. And when you like click the up arrow, see it's like bouncing a lot and then it's not really working like a pendulum. So that's the reason we should decrease the stiffness to 0 0.04. Okay, so this is, is this is the stiffness and if you increase the stiffness then it will be like, uh, it will not really move, right? So less. The stiffness is I'll just change the stiffness to even more like 0.9 or something. It's really stiff. So that's the reason it's 0 0.04 is the right amount. Now what is this length? So length is the length of the string. So let me just increase it by say 600. You can see that the length of the string is increased like a lot but this doesn't really look like a proper pendulum I mean it is but um, I thought that a shorter string would look better so that's the reason I've chosen 200 it's short and it's good so that's the reason I've chosen 200 you can choose any amount you wish for Okay, and then this dot point B equals to point B, this dot chain equals to constraint dot create option. So this is the main important thing. This dot chain equals to constraint dot create. That's the reason in the starting of the video, I mentioned that this line is really important. Const constraint equals to matter dot constraint. Now, if we comment this out, let's just see what will happen. It's a blank screen. Why? Because it's a blank screen just because we are, haven't made something. We haven't said that there's something called constraint. How will it know? How will the computer know? Now uh, we are like directly applying it. Like this dot chain equals to constraint. So we are directly applying it. It actually doesn't know what does constraint mean and how can you apply it. So, it's equally important to create it first of all so once you do this it will come back because now it understands what is the meaning of constraint Const, constraint equals to matter dot constraint it's a property now this is what which makes like the rope effect for um, the bob to you know like hang so this is what that makes the rope kind of effect okay so with this you make um, like the row kind of effect and options so now these are the physics options or all the properties that we are that are declared in the variable options so we need this as well world dot add world comma this dot chain so we are adding this body or this chain into the world okay Next, let's go into the display function. Display function. If this dot chain dot body A, if like we have this dot chain dot body A, then where point A equals to this dot chain dot body A dot position. So now, as of now, we have declared that point A is the body A's position, and point B is the point B's position. So point A is the body is position so now 
let us uh, just comment this line out and let's see what changes we get. You can see that you cannot see any single line. Like it's like flying. The same things going on, but you actually cannot see the line. But in a pendulum, you can always see the string with um, your eyes, right? So the pendulum which connects the roof and the ball. So for that to look like a pendulum, you have to add this line, okay? Oh, so this line. Now, what is this line connecting? It's connecting point A dot X. That means body is X position, point A dot Y. Point body is Y position, point B dot X. The point B is X position and point B is Y position. So it's connecting the exact amount of body A's position and point B's position. Okay, it's connecting. A line is connecting. So this is a chain class. So we are applying it onto everything. So this is how you apply it. You do it by first creating a chain equals to new chain. So this is the class of the chain. Then bob one dot body we are connecting bob one since in the constructor of chain we have written body a and point b so we are connecting body a which is bob one dot body and then the point what is the point of um, the position of the point is x is 350 and y is 100 so the x position of the point which the bob is connecting to is 350 and the y is 100 so this is how you connect it this goes the same but again I've um, added a difference of 50 to each one so if chain 2 is 400 then chain 3 is 450 then 500 then 550 why because the same reason because the bob has a radius of 50 right and we don't want it to collide once again so that's the reason there's a difference of 50. Now if it's um, now if you keep 70 for everything, then this should also have a difference of 70. And over here also, there should be a difference of 70. Because this is 50, the radius is 50, there's a difference of 50 in each and every place. Now let's go into the next. So I told you that um, even though you increase this, at the end of uh, like, let's say 500, but it will be in the same place. Or let's just increase it even more. Even though you have increased it by 300, but still, you'll see that they are in the same place. Why? It's just because of this. It is connecting by one. Um, so we have given the chain's y position as 100. It's a fixed amount. And the length of the chain is 200. So which means that the bob should be placed at the position of 300 according to us. But even though this is 700, 1000, 2000, whatever number you keep, at like it will start from the very bottom but then it will fluctuate a little and then go back to y position of 300 because the y position of the chain is 100 we have declared it like that and the length of the chain is 200 which means its length is so 100 and then it goes 200 little more down which means it's at the 300 position of y position right so even though you increase this the bob won't go so just make sure assure if you want the bob to go a little more down always fluctuate uh, like just make um, the length of the chain little more or play with the numbers like over here or um, not over here but increase the chain's amount okay if you want the bob little more down so, um, it won't help if you um, increase this number, okay? So, let me just keep it to 400 again. Okay. 
next roof roof equals to new roof so we are creating a roof 450 comma 100 comma 300 comma 20 so 450 and 100 is the position 300 comma 20 so 450 is the position of the x position and 100 is the y position so 450 is the like the middle amount right so that's the reason like um i wanted it to be evenly distributed so one should be in the exact middle two should be to the right and two should be to the left so that's the reason and the x position i mean the y position is 100 since the y position of the string is also 100 so it should look now suppose i keep this roof at let's say 300 now let's see what will happen it will look like this which is not, it's not looking good right it should be like it's hanging to the roof that's the reason you should keep the same y position of the chain to the roof so it's 100 then 100 okay this actually what is happening it's just looking like the roof is carrying all the pendulum uh, bobs but it's not really like that it's just connected to a point and we are just attaching a small rectangle onto it to make it look like the roof is carrying all the bobs okay so the concept is this then engine not run engine so we are running the engine now next rect mode center in function row and in the background is 240 128 129 so this makes it look like the pinkish color this is the rgb color code as i said you can change it up to you it's totally up to you chain now we are displaying all of them and one thing i would like to say is that so if you like keep the roof on top then you could see the chain lines right over here you could see the point where it's connected over here so if you want it to be seen then you can otherwise you could just if you don't want it to be seen like that then keep the roof below all the chains then it will look like the points are behind the roof uh, it, this looks neat for me but it's up to you if you want the point to be seen okay so now let's go into the, then draw sprites so this is the draw sprites which is really important so that all of them are seen let's go into the function key pressed so what is the necessity of this once you press the up arrow the bob is going like that right to the left why is it happening just because of this this code let's just see why does it happen so we have already done the geologist project right and in this we have used the same thing like when you press the up arrow or i'm not sure which arrow i don't remember it properly so when you press one of the arrows then the paper ball actually like moves like that and then it has to go into the dustbin so that's how it works uh, sorry it's not the geologist uh, sorry, it's not the geologist. It's a different project. The project's name is uh, Crumpled Ball. So in that project, sorry, I was a little confused. So in the project Crumpled Ball, it's like that, right? So the same property we are going to use, apply force. Now, in function key pressed, if key code equals to equals to equals to up arrow, that means when we are pressing the up arrow, so the up arrow, then matter dot body dot apply force so the body matter dot body is applying a force onto bob one dot body so bob one dot body and bob one dot body dot position so its position is changed by minus 30 minus 30 that means if the bob one's position x position is 350 then it will the x position will be 320 so 350 minus 30 which is 320 and then then it goes like this straight line but we want it to go like this upwards as if someone's pulling the bob and leaving it right 
so that's the reason it should go even up not only sideways right so that's the reason 155 actually the y position of the bob is 1400 right the y position of the bob is 400 now 155 which is decreasing it uh, like we are in so um, 155 which is less than 400 which is making it go up right so that makes it actually go up i'll just show you so actually it's not uh, it's not that it's minus 30 actually so 155 that means it's going to the it's going a little more up which makes it go up so it's up to you if you want to increase this or you want to increase this like 175 will go even more up okay so that's the bobs um the apply force one this is the additional task to complete so um this was the project and it was really easy okay so one last thing that i wanted to say is that whatever whatever class you make like the roof class chain class bob class don't forget please don't forget to add it in the index.html it's really important to like add in the index.html otherwise it nothing would work nothing would work it doesn't read so once you write this then it will read like you're saying about bob.js sketch.js so that it will read about it like it will go in the class and then read all the things right so please don't forget to add all these classes into the index.html okay so this is um, a very important thing that's it and um, this project was really easy yeah uh, the apply force is a little bit hard thing but we have already done the crumbled balls project so that's the reason it's going to be pretty easy now um that's it for today and if you like this video please like share and subscribe don't forget to press the bell icon and please 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 if you have any doubts queries or suggestions you can always comment them in the comment section below thank you bye and thank you so much for 290 subscribers it's almost 300 so i hope you will make them into 300 very soon after this video thank you thank you so much